Let us now explore how to change the base for the exponents, especially when the numbers are rational numbers or fractions. Now we have two examples here. With the help of these examples, I'll teach you the method. We have write 1 over 27 square as a base of 1 over 3. So basically we have to find 1 over 27 square should be equal to 1 over 3 to the power of what? So this is what we need to figure out. How can we do that? Now, how is 27 related with 3? First think about that. So 27 and 3. The relation is that 3 cubed is 27, right? 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 3 is 27. So 27 can be written as 3 cubed. So in this expression, I can write 27 as 3 cubed. Then what do I get? So I have 27, 1 over 27 squared. Now I can write this as 1 over 3 cubed to the power of 2. Now applying the laws of exponent, what do we get? We get 1 over 3 to the power of 3 times 2, 6. That's what we get. So now you can see we have changed the base. Base was 1 over 27 and we changed it to 1 over 3. The trick was to replace 27 as a number with base 3. And that is the relation. Let's do it once again. And this time we'll do with half to the power of 5. We will like to write it as with base 8 what should be the power. So this is what we need to figure out. So the strategy is exactly same as we did before but this time we may get some negative exponents. See how. How is 2 related with 8? 2 cube is 8, right? 2 cube is 8. So if I have to write 2 as something to the power of 8, I can write this as 2 is equal to 8 to the power of 1 over 3. So we'll use this relation. 2 equals to 8 to the power of 1 over 3 and then replace half with something which has 8 at its base, right? So we can say 1 over 2 to the power of 5 should be equals to 1 over 8 to the power of 1 over 3, right? Since 2 is 8 to the power of 1 over 3 to the power of 5. Now, I can multiply by 5 and what do I get? I get 1 over 8 to the power of 5 over 3. But I need to write it as 8, not 1 over 8. So that means negative, right? So that gives me 8 to the power of negative 5 over 3. So that is the answer. So n, the exponent of 8, should be negative 5 over 3 so that it is equal to half to the power of 5. That's kind of tricky. I'd like you to go through this video once again and understand how we can change base from half to 8. Do you see that? This time we change the base from half to 8. Thank you.